All right, what's up guys? Anthony here with the OG Race Factory team, uh, brought to you by One Generation Insurance. Uh, today we're gonna do a race tire change. Uh, since it's already off the rim, I'll do an installation and then a removal. You can you know, reverse it depending where you are in the process. And uh, it'll be pretty straightforward. The tires are not warm, they're room temperature. The rims are a little chilly, it's a little chilly outside, so. Not midsummer conditions, not off the warmers. Uh, it'll give you a realistic view of what you're working with as far as leverage, and I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to use it. As far as setting up, if you want to come in real quick, basically this is two pieces. You've got the base that attaches here to the main unit. You just loosen that, and this slides in and out. Tighten it up. You got these two magnets that you can take on and off or slide up and down. They're really strong magnets. I'm actually not going to move them right now. Uh, but they do slide if you need to. Uh, and then you've got the back arm here that closes for storage in and out like this. So I'll just get right to it. Nice Rabaconda carrying bag here. I'm going to start pulling out my tools. Got my drop center tools here that have really come in handy. I think these are essential, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of tire changes. You got the ratchet with the duck, duck bill. You got your bead breaker and leverage bar, the wheel block, and a tire iron. It also comes with a nice instruction manual with step-by-step -step instructions, uh, pictures as well to make sure you're doing it the right way depending on your setup and your tires. All right, for removal, of the race tire that we're doing here on a 2000, well, it's an RSV4 uh, rim wheel, which is going to be the same for all of them. I'm going to pull the valve stem core. up so it's as close to the rim as possible and then here by my left hand I'm gonna lock in the adjustment to lock it into place and then from here I'm just gonna leverage oh. actually we can get a little bit closer And I'm going to spin it, pop it off on all sides. And once we've got it free on once that all sides, flip it over. Ah, and I did forget my little centering piece here, which does help it spin off and stay a lot more stable while you're working on it. Pop the bead on the other side. Sometimes it takes work it a little bit on the sides. If it's stuck on there real good. There we go. All the way in there. Now I'm going to start the removal process. So I'm going to slide the ratchet on here. And I'm going to get this right on the rim here. Snug it up. And tighten it here. 
The uh, drop center tools can come in handy here as well. I'll put one on this side here. And checking the back, sometimes the bee gets stuck on the back side too. Seems to be okay at the moment. And I'll put one right here. Just kind of, they're spring loaded, just push it in. And forgot my wheel lock here. Slide that into place there. And I'm just gonna, with my tire iron, pull it up over the duct bill here. Just like that. It locks into place right there on the back side of the ratchet. I'm gonna take my bar here. Slides right in here for leverage and start ratcheting around to pull the tire off of the rim. I'll pull this one off. just gonna kind of fall off like that for the removal we're always starting at six o'clock you got arms of a clock 12 o'clock that's six o'clock removal six o'clock installation 12 o'clock same thing on the back side now if you got a real hot tire you can just take it off and peel it off by hand if you want um, for the sake of this video I'm gonna grab Tire. Again with my tire iron, pull it up over the duck bill there, it locks into place behind here. Again with my bar, I'm just going to work it around the wheel. And get the tires off just like that. You're all set to put your next tire on. Flip your tire, whatever you're doing. First step is I'm gonna take the centering piece here. And I'm gonna slide it on the center spindle here. That way it's nice and centered and stable on there. I'm gonna get my tire. Oh, I forgot to mention, a lot of people have been asking, how do I keep my curls? Ooh, can you hold the camera up a little bit? I don't want people looking up my nose. See all my boogers, my nostrils. It's winter season, you know how it is. Um, a lot of people when asking how do I get my curls to stay the way that they are um, and the answer to that is Rabaconda bead grease. This stuff is non-toxic, biodegradable, um, you know, and it, it tastes just like, uh, tastes good. I'm just kidding. Do not try that at home, kids. Do not eat tire grease. I've been doing this a long time. My digestive system is used to it. Oops. And I'm just gonna slap some of that on there. It's a little cold, so there we go. Kind of like cold butter. Butter was sticking together. Didn't want to spread it first. All right. So my tire's prepped. Next step, I will set up the ratchet system. Now one tip that I've learned here is for removal, you can put it right on the rim. And, and you can put some, uh, some tire lube on this too. It'll allow it to slide on the rim a little better, put it on both sides. It'll just allow, keep it from getting stuck, depending on what you're working with. Uh, my tip here is instead of putting it right on the rim, I actually come off it just a few millimeters and that helps me get a little bit of leverage and keep it from sticking to the tire. I'm just going to tighten it up there in place. That's going to sit right there. I'm going to get my tire. This is a Pirelli Superbike Slick SC2. Like I said, room temperature, not warm. 
Um, and what I'm going to do, if you want to come in on this side and show how I put it diagonally, if you're if you're changing race tires, chances are you already know how to use a tire tire changing machine. But uh, in case you don't, I'll explain it here. But put it halfway over the duck duck bill, so that's on that side, and the tail is on the other side. And we're just gonna get it started here as much as we can on that side. And then. I'm going to take our ratcheting system, a little leverage bar here, with my hand on it so it doesn't slide off out of place. Oh, one key component that I skipped here is the wheel block, and that's because we're doing it backwards, so I kind of forgot it. But this, if you're going to look right inside the wheel here, for these large caliper wheels, I'm going to go on the inner one, and that slides down below the caliper, but it's going to block the wheel right there on that spoke. And now, oh, with my hand here, still good, I'm gonna pop it. And if you worked with race tires before, sometimes you can get that first lip over without any, any uh, machine. You can just push it on depending how warm your tire is. Now, I'm gonna, do the same thing I did before, getting this up over that side of the ductile. There we go. Because I have a few millimeters up, it is tougher to get it over. You can always use the uh, tire iron. And with a little bit of pressure there to keep it down. We're going to spin it around. And you see here it's going to get a little tight. And this is where our drop center tools come in handy. These are cool. They're just spring, spring loaded. So you can just pop these on here. So I'm just going to literally push the tire in. I'll come back a little bit. See how it's stuck on the bead there. And you can put these on prior to. I was just seeing if it would go on without them. And you can always just pop them manually if you don't have them. Just get it off the bead there, but I mean, these are just so easy to just kind of slap on there and then they stay in place. And then from there, last part I believe I'm still on the bead on the back side that's what's making it tight I can muscle it over but let's see I should still have enough room to get it by yeah that's it for the installation pause now that you got your tire on, these are just spring loaded. You can literally just roll them off just like that. And to get your duck bill out, also you're going to pull your wheel lock out. To get your duck bill, you can loosen it up here. Um, and you can also use, if you have to, this handy bead breaker just to give you a little bit of space if it's really wedged in there. A lot of times you can just push the tire, pull it out manually, but get that loose and slide it right out, just like that. Uh, my honest opinion, as a racer, someone who's going through tires a lot at the racetrack, um, if you got to compare this to, let's say, a full-on pneumatic tire machine, you know, big, expensive, takes up a lot of space, then you've got the Nomar tire changer, which is lighter, uh, lighter option, still manual. Um, you're laying horizontal to work on the tire using leverage. 
but it's heavy, bulky, and it's not transported very easily. You can attach it to your trailer, to a board, but it's still gonna take up a lot of space. This, I'm gonna show you right now, actually, just how easy it packs up. Um, I, for someone who needs to be able to change tires in many different situations, at the track, at home, in my trailer when it's raining, in my shed, in my temporary garage while my garage is being built, you know, any, wherever I am, I can change my tires and not have to wait in line for a long line of tire changes at a race weekend, waiting for one guy to do all the swaps. I can be ready to go when I want, how I want. Um, so let me put this on something safe. So to disassemble, you saw me pull the ratchet off there. All I'm going to do is unscrew the center spindle here, pull the wheel stop out. I'm going to lower the bead breaker mount and then this back leg folds in, locks back into place and this piece comes out and we're fully disassembled. All of this gets packed up into this handy Rabaconda bag. Just like this. Super portable. Breaks down literally in one minute. Throw my tools in. Close it up. And you can get a tire change down to just a few minutes, I could say five minutes if you're really handy with it. And then with uh, the uh, installation, the uh, putting it together and the uh, breaking down, you're on the road and ready to go.